Okay, so in our last video, we created a very simple circuit uh, that had a simple resistor followed by a very small LED. And we connected it to 5 volts and ground of the Arduino. In this video, what we're going to do is take a push button switch like this and add it in the path of that LED and make sure that the light so we'll we'll add a switch right here uh, so this will be still the ground pin but instead of this being the 5 volts what we're going to do is connect 5 volts to this side and this is a this is a push button switch so it's normally open so normally the circuit would like that look like that when i press the switch the switch gets pressed so i'll draw the switch right here and what happens when I press the switch, the switch will make a connection. So 5 volt will flow through that LED and go to ground and make a complete loop. Okay, so that's the goal uh, for this particular part. Okay, so make, let's make that circuit uh, happen. So this is what we're going to wire. So I'm going to place a switch. So in the switch, you'll notice there are four pins. The four of the four pins, the top two pins, so I'm going to place it in the breadboard like this uh, so now they're in they're in the in the breadboard now uh, the two left pins and there's two right pins the top left pin and the top right pin are internally wired the bottom left and the bottom right are internally wired as well so when we use the breadboard we can use either the left hand side right hand side or both sides of uh, the switch so if I go by this diagram, uh, I have the output of the switch. So 5 volt is going to come on one side of the switch. So 5 volt is going to come onto one side of the switch. I'm going to bring in this red wire. And I'll connect on the top left most pin. So that top left most pin and the right top right most pin are internally connected. So they bridge over. So this bridging hap. Uh, so that is going to go. And what we're going to do next is we're going to connect this 330 ohm resistor to the top side of the switch. We're going to come down. So, so far we have, we have 5 volts going to the top part of the resistor, going through the resistor into a uh, LED. So, I've got a, I have got a LED right here. One leg of the LED will go on one side of the resistor, and the other le leg of the LED, I'm going to push it on. Uh, other side of the LED is going to go towards uh, ground. So let me do that with my ground right here. Now I see that it lit up. It's automatically lighting up. So what did I do wrong? Let's see again. So I have the red wire coming in, and that was brizzed here. So this is brizzed. So the current is flowing through the red wire through here, through this leg of the resistor, and into the LED, and back to ground. So there's a complete loop. So whether I press the switch or not, the LED is always lit up. Now this is a fairly common mistake people make when they first wire up a uh, wire up a push button switch. So in this case, what we want to do is to take this leg. So if you look at this picture, okay, so that switch right here, we want to have 5 volt on one side of the switch and the resistor on the other side of the switch so that when I press the switch, a connection is made. So in order to make that happen, the resistor needs to go on the bottom leg. It doesn't matter whether you do it on the left-hand side or the right-hand side. So now you can see that the LED is no longer lit. Now what's happening? Current is coming through. It's going to the top part of the switch. The switch is normally open, so it's, there's no path for the current to flow to this leg of the resistor, so the LED is off. Now when I press this button, you'll see that when I press the button, the LED lights up. When I let go, it doesn't light up. So the way the circuit is wired, the red wire comes into the top, top uh, left side, and on the bottom right side, we have the resistor connected going into an LED back to ground to complete the circuits. So 
we have we press a switch we get a light okay so this is a switch that's placed in the way to either break or uh, break the connection or make the connection uh, so that the current can actually flow through the LED, go to ground, and light up this LED. Okay, 